Good evening, and welcome to our viewers at home that are listening tonight. We are really excited that you're able to join us and hope by the end of this presentation, you can join the Charter Oak family after this enrollment and district of choice parent information session. My name is Joey Strykula, and I'm the Director of Student Services and Child Welfare and Attendance for the Charter Oak Unified School District. On behalf of our superintendent, Dr. Jeff Jordan, and the Board of Education, I have the privilege of presenting this evening. Please note, for our bilingual families, we will have a separate presentation you can access on our website at www.cousd.net. This evening, we are going to go over a brief background of the Charter Oak Unified School District and touch on the multiple programs and opportunities we have to offer for our students and what the next steps and options would be to enroll. Why Charter Oak Unified? The Charter Oak Unified School District serves students in the communities of Covina, Glendora, and San Dimas. The first Charter Oak School opened on September 9, 1894 with 24 students. From that early start, the district has grown into an award-winning unified district, establishing California Distinguished Schools, serving nearly 5,000 students on eight campuses. Charter Oak is a community of proud residents. The six square miles of Charter Oak retains much of the green, shady, small town atmosphere of caring people. It is an amazing place for families to live and for children to attend school. One of the many key factors in Charter Oak's success is the support of our parents, guardians, and the community. There are many things that make Charter Oak Unified so unique and amazing. We have California Distinguished Schools and Gold Ribbon Schools, an excellent Oak Knoll Virtual Academy program, National Blue Ribbon Schools, Golden Bell Award winners, CIF Championship competing teams, National Youth Arts recipients, International Baccalaureate program, Project Lead the Way Pathways, and AVID advancement via individual determination, just to share few of our accomplishments. The Charter Oak Unified School District offers a wide range of educational opportunities for students. It has one of the most noted virtual academies in the area. Graduates of our schools are accepted to prestigious colleges and universities. Each student has a Chromebook issued to them that they can take home, and we have state-of-the-art classrooms and facilities. We pride ourselves on safe campuses with first-class security, technology, and social-emotional support and interventions for all of our students and staff, as safety and the well-being is our number one priority. Charter Oak schools offer multiple CTE and STEM pathways, such as robotics, biomedical, business and technology, sports medicine, and culinary arts, just to name a few. Our teachers take an approach to teaching and learning that integrates science, technology, engineering, the arts, and math as pathways to guide student inquiry, discussions, and critical thinking, which helps our students develop the capacity to take thoughtful risk, engage in meaning learning activities, become resilient problem solvers, embrace and appreciate collaboration, and work through the creative process. We have one of the best visual and performing arts programs in the area where our students can thrive and perform to the highest potential. And lastly, but not least, we have a highly competitive CIF Championship Athletics Program where at Charter Oak High School, they offer over 22 varsity sports where students can be part of a team and create lifelong relationships. We literally have a program that will fit any student's needs and we strongly encourage participation in any and every one of them. To give you some more background on the makeup of our district, we have five elementary schools that range from grades TK through sixth grade. Three of them are located in Covina, which is Badillo, 
Cedar Grove, and Glen Oak. And the other two, Washington and Willow, are located in the city of Glendora. And we also have an Oak Knoll Virtual Academy program for this grade level as well. Next, Royal Oak is our one and only middle school serving grades seven and eight. And again, we do offer Oak Knoll Virtual Online Academy classes for these grades as well. And last but not least, we do have one comprehensive high school being Charter Oak High School, which is located in Covina, and one continuation school, Arrow High School, which is located in Glendora, and again, our Oak Knoll Virtual Academy program that services those grade levels. One more interesting piece of information about our district is we do also offer an adult education program located in Covina. Okay. Now that you've heard some amazing, exciting opportunities that we have to offer in our district, let's talk about ways that you can enroll your child. There really are three avenues that you can choose from here to enroll your student in Charter Oak Unified if you do not live in our district. So again, if you do not live within our district boundary lines, three options are for you. One, district of choice. Two, the Allen Bill, which goes and bases off the parent employment. And three, an interdistrict transfer. At this point in time, we are accepting district of choice applications. And please note, this is for next school year, 2022 and 2023. That window is open from October 1st, 2021 and closes December 31st, 2021. So again, we do offer district of choice and that is for next school year. And the application process has opened from October 1st to the December 31st. So a little more about District of Choice here. Again, you do need to apply directly with the Charter Oak Unified School District for the 22-23 school year. Applications can be found at our district website, once again, at www.cousd.net. Please note, you do not need your district of residence to release your student. So again, you do not need permission from your current district in order for your student to be released. And that application window will be closing December 31st, 2021. 100% of students who apply in a district choice are accepted unless you reside in the Azusa, Pomona, or Roland Unified School Districts. Once accepted, we will notify and give the child the preliminary school assignment by mid-February. And again, once you're accepted, you no longer have to reapply for release on District of Choice. And by far, this is the probably easiest transition option for you to enroll if you do not live in Azusa, Pomona, and Rolling Unified School District. Next is the Allen Bill. This is different from District of Choice, and there are requirements for this bill, which is your parent physically has to be employed in the Charter Oak Unified School District boundaries to qualify for the Allen Bill. You must be employed Monday through Friday for a minimum of 10 hours a week, and you do need to provide that proof of employment when you submit the application. Again, applications can be found on a student service website at cousd.net. And there is no deadline from this one. A little different than District of Choice, there is no deadline to apply for the Allen Bill. You also do not need permission to be released from the district where you reside or live in. So if you can't apply for District of Choice because you live in Azusa, Pomona, or Roland Unified, the Allen Bill would be another excellent option for you if your parents work in our districts. Once accepted, you do not have to reapply unless your employment status changes. The next option for you to become a Charter Oak Unified School District student is to apply for an IDT, which stands for Interdistrict Transfer. So again, if you live in Azusa, Pomona, or Roland, and you do not work in the Charter Oak Unified District boundary lines, meaning you don't apply for the Allen Bill, this would be another excellent option for you to enroll in Charter Oak Unified. 
you would apply for an IDT from the District of Residence. You can either contact your child's school office or the district office that you live in to get and receive the IDT form that you will need to fill out. Note, and very important here, you must be released by your district of residence before registering Charter Oak Unified. If your home district denies the IDT, you do have the right to appeal with the Los Angeles County of Education. If your district of residence grants you an IDT, the IDT is sent to Charter Oak Unified for approval, or you can take the form with you to a school site or student services offices. Most applications will require a valid reason for release from the district in which you live in. So again, you'll have to have a valid reason of why you need to want to be requesting to be released from the district that you reside in. Districts can wait 14 days from the start of the school year to act on your permit request. Once released, you do not have to reapply unless the current district you reside in changes or requests your renewal at matriculation, meaning from elementary to middle school and from middle to high school. So to summarize, you have three avenues or three ways you can enroll your student in Charter Oak Unified if you do not currently live in our district. So again, one, the first and foremost easiest way to do so is DOC or District of Choice, which again, does not cost anything. Anybody can apply as long as you do not reside in the Azusa, Roland, or Promote Unified School Districts. And remember, you must get your application sent to us ASAP and or before the December 31st deadline. The second way is the Allen Bill. And the third way is the Interdistrict Transfer Permit, or IDT. <clears throat> questions. We did have some questions emailed prior to tonight's presentation that I will address at this time. So let's take a look at those. The first question is, when can you apply for the Allen Bill? So great question, and again, there is no timetable or deadline to apply for the Allen Bill, but just note and keep in mind that you must be employed Monday through Thursday, excuse me, Monday through Friday, for a minimum of 10 hours within our district boundary. So again, there is no deadline or um, right or wrong time to apply for the Allen Bill. You can do that at any point in time, just work here through our student services offices. Well, looking through here too, another question came in is what grade level can apply for district of choice? Uh, great question. And again, TK through 12. So there is no grade level that's prohibited from applying from district of choice. So any and everyone that does not reside in Azusa, Pomona, or Roland can apply through a district of choice. 100% are accepted. Um, but one more reminder here, just make sure you get that application in before December 31st for next school year, which is 2022 20. 2023 school year. And uh, one more question here that was submitted is when can I apply for an IDT in a district transfer and can I request a school that I want to go to? Again, great question. And the answer is you can apply at any point in time for an interdistrict transfer. So there's no timeline, no deadline there. And yes, you can request a school, uh, but keep in mind that is based off of space limitations. So you can apply for one of the five elementary schools that we have. Um, and as long as there's space available for you, we can request um, or can grant that request. But if there is not space at that particular school, we would contact you and let you know what some other options are out there. Obviously, for our middle and high school, um, we only have one middle and one high school. So as long as you're not applying for a program that is possibly impacted, um, again, you'd be able to request, obviously, Royal Oak and or Charter Oak. Please note, if you weren't able to submit questions in advance, um, we're going to go over some of our options and what that looks like for you next year. So next steps on how do I know what options are best for my family? There's a lot of information that was presented tonight here for you to process and understand. And it's very important to us that you have an opportunity to ask questions that are directly related to your child and your particular situation. 
With that said, please give our student services office a call Monday through Friday at 626-966-8331, extension 90556. And we'd be more than happy to assist you and walk you through this enrollment process. In closing, and as a last reminder, that if you plan on applying for District Choice, which again, anyone, all grade levels can apply outside of the Azusa, Pomona, Roland districts, that application window closes December 31st, 2021. So please contact us as soon as possible so we can help assist you with that paperwork. And also keep in mind, if you're not really sure about District of Choice, where you're going to be next year, you actually can apply for the District of Choice application. And for whatever reason, if you change your mind and it doesn't work out, that is completely fine. We can just withdraw that application process at no harm or penalty at all whatsoever. At this time, this concludes our presentation. We appreciate your interest in Charter Oak Unified and look forward to providing you and your family an excellent education, experience, and lifelong partnership. I wish you a great rest of your evening and please call 966 83 31 extension 90556 for any of your enrollment questions. Take care.